What's up guys, Wolf Optics here, here with the DVD video guide. This ain't a beginner guide or a guide, it's just a regular guide to help some people out. Kind of a beginner guide. But here I'm going to tell you something. I'm not really good at these things, it's like my first one. So if I am wrong about some stuff, please tell me in the comment below. Please. First off, we're going to get to flood points and another thing that's really, really the thing you need map knowledge. I can't like go through every map and like show you, but I'm saying... I'm gonna play a killer very well. Some killers, not killer, but some killers you do need map knowledge and survivor knowledge. So I really recommend playing both sides. But first, we're gonna start with the killer side. But I need to, one of my friends told me he didn't know what a blood point, blood web was. So I'm gonna to get this over with. So the blood web is every killer's, like how you level up every killer. But he was confused about the perks and add-ons. So every killer has their own add-ons. Like this is only for exclusive to only every killer has their own add-ons. They don't get their other kind of add-ons. They have their own specific add-ons and exclusive add-ons to them and only. Only thing that's not exclusive it perks. Because this is right here. This is a, a pyramid head perk, and this is his own perk but that's just maxed out so when i get this that's why it's orange it will so you can get it for other killers and you may also unlock it from the shrine of secrets that's from the store you can get it with shards from in this is in-game currency when you level up so yeah so that's what that's what it is so perks but but one thing is he says he said he asked me if when you get a perk is it does it unlock for every killer no so i'll have trail of torment if I get Trail of Torment or Death Slinger, it'll only, only be for Death Slinger, so I have to get, like, if I if I need to... I can't talk so much. If I got Trail of Torment for Death Slinger, it won't just, like, appear in their loadout. Right now, you have to get it for, like, Ghostface. You have to go to Ghostface, Blood Web, and try to get it for him. So, yeah. That's about it. So, But then, one more thing. Prestiging. If you want a prestige killer, or if you want a prestige elevator killer, the one downside is I am going to prestige a killer. The most of the killers I am going to prestige probably is Blight, uh, Wraith, I don't know, somebody, maybe Demo, because he's good. I don't know, it depends. It depends. Like, I don't know who the third one is. But, um, prestiging is when you do that character your killer will start back at level one and but it have a prestige and what prestiging does it increases your add-ons like they'll be like more yellow or green they'll be more still brown like ghostface best brown add-on is this one and the other green add-on is our yellow add-on is this one too there's another one probably pretty good but and you see more and you get better you'll get good better like perk increase like um Nurses, like, I, I, he's level 50, but I don't have nurses, Max, so I'll, I'll probably get nurse, tier 10 nurse, if I keep this, like, spinning blood points in this. But if I prestige, back to level 1, I'll probably get pie nurse first, or more good, like, a more pie, not, like, just good, because some add-ons are pretty bad, but I mean, like, more add-ons in the blood web, because right now you only get two at a time, or maybe three if you're lucky at a time, but, yeah. And that's what bl the blood web is, and how you get perks from them. Okay, now we're gonna talk about killer, killer powers and all that, and what perks you could probably use, you could use from. I'm not the best about it, but we're gonna start with Trapper. I don't play Trapper a lot. There's, uh, the, I'm just gonna say, um, I don't have Trapper, Hag, Doctor, Hillbilly, Huntress, or any of these killers really high. I want to, I need to, because I really want to play them. I want to get back and playing Spirit and Oni. I'm just not really good at them, and I want to try more of the can. Leatherface, Hag, Doctor, and so stuff for her. I can't play her on console. Maybe y'all can, but I can't. But okay, I'm not gonna be best for this, so y'all could probably need to help me with this. We have my way I'm running for. This is so exciting. Um, Trapper's ability. He put. He can. He doesn't start with the round of bear trap. We can go collect them. They're spread all over the map. Go pick them up. Go set them out, but you need map knowledge for this. You look at map knowledge like you think like where this survivor's gonna go or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. You need map knowledge for this. Like you gotta kind of predict sometimes with 
trapper. That's why I can't, I'm not a really good protector, but I still want to try to play with him. I used to play him a couple of times. Like when I first got this game, I used to play him a lot and got bear traps with him. Got traps with him. It was really satisfying, but I just play somewhere I think I should play him again. But it's very satisfying killing a killer if you get it right. Okay. And the add-ons, there's the really good ones are the dye ones. This is just not the best one, but the purple one, I think there's a red one is really good. And the bags are really because he starts off for a bear trap. Starts off one. This is a really good one because they can't use dead hard until they heal. And this, yeah, reduces, oh yeah, and, it's, and the bricks reduces the chance of them escaping the bear trap, so that's good too. So any of that and this one too, because it increases it much faster, so he puts down the trap even more faster. So perks, save the best for last would be okay, but you don't have to use it. Um, corrupt corrupt intervention, that perk does it blocks the three furthest generators of, or, away from you. That will give Trapper some time to um, place down traps. So because the killer, because the survivors have to come to you. So yeah. I don't know really other ones besides that one. Maybe Ruin, maybe not. Maybe Brewer Shrank, I don't know. Some pressure gen perks, maybe like. Yeah, Ruin probably, I don't know. Because I'm not playing more. I do watch people, but I don't really. I need to pay attention, but yeah. But I know Corrupt Intervention, yes. Probably say the best for us, be good too. So, Wraith. Really good starter killer. I'm on, I'm being honest. Really good starter killer. Because he's so easy to learn. And so good at the chase. I mean, come on. So we're gonna talk. Okay. So his power. So he starts out cloaked, though. But when you uncloak, you go in a, when you're in a chase and you uncloak and go in. A, either way, you don't have to be in a chase. By the way, I'm just get that Pacific. When you're uncloaked, though, you get a one second of burst of speed. This is actually pretty good. It doesn't seem because one second, but it's actually pretty, pretty dang good. Because you can throw people off at a loop. Like you can fake people off of like where you're gonna go and somehow just like super fast and yeah. But when Wraith is cloaked he is super fast. He can get across the map fast. And he's undetectable when he's cloaked, so don't forget that. Nobody even knows you're coming until you bing bong unless you have this per add on or the red one that completely like makes his bing bong quiet and you can't even hear it at all. This one just changes direction. You might hear him from the left, it comes from the right, so Brown perks trash. All these ones are good. The green, yellow, and purple, and red are good. I'm not gonna go in detail on all of them. But they're all good. Let's make sure to read them. I need to put this on right now. Perks I'll go with him. These two you can go with any, but I think Hex may be really good on him. Nurses can be really good on him. You can see you don't have to put Hex all the time. You put Corrupt. I mean, you don't have to go always slow down perks. But any of perks really are really good on him. Don't put the trash ones. <laughs> Unless you want to go for a meme build or that's a crazy build or something. But Little Pursuer can be good because you can start the match because you start unclo you start cloaked and you can fly them like that and get a first hit on. So yeah, Slob Bush can be good if you don't really want to use the add-on. There's an add-on version of this too on only exclusive to Wraith. So yeah, and Nurse's Con is good. So yeah. Hillbilly, he's good. He used to be really good. He's really good for, uh, he can't really get across the map anymore because this nerf, the overheat meter, the new thing, decreases the chainsaw when he's using it. But you always want to use this chainsaw in a chase, but you can't use it for long because the overheat meter. But it's a one shot down, so it insta down to me so you can go put him on the hook. So yeah. Really nothing else to talk about him, but he can go across the map pretty fast, but you have to, if you want to do that, you can have to have like, okay, that's a good, oh, okay, by the way, uh, you can have this, uh, this one, it's not the one, uh, but this one like will slightly increase the chainsaw's overheat limit so it doesn't go down as fast. So this more different ones, this is the green one, the purple one. This one is like, this good red, this decent red one will like, if any survivors that's outside of this, his terror radius, no, but you can't hear his chainsaw unless you're in this terror radius. Pretty cool. But not the best. I don't really know what perks to really run them for. Maybe Tinker. I don't really need those perks for my... I really do need these perks for some of my killers. Or all of them. Because it's like when the generator... I don't I don't know what the purple one is. I think the purple is 60. I don't know. 
but like when like just say it's like 70 percent it you will be undetectable for 12 like whenever the purple one is i don't know let me see i wonder if i can go to care for character info no too bad but yeah that's all i know about the hillbilly nurse if you really want to play her on console, I recommend buy P. But if you want to do play her on console, she can. She's very good. So I'm not. Gonna, I can't talk about what perks, really, because I don't really, really know well or add-ons. But her power, very good, very good. Go through any walls. Ignore pallets. You don't even have to break all the pallets if you want to. You could still break the pallets. You still need to break the pallets though. But go through anything you want. Even like when you want to go to the basement, you can just look down and go to the basement. I mean, like you can't just like look down. You'd be in the basement. You have to like kind of like direct like where the basement is. You have to kind of be still kind of close. But yeah, nurse can is really is really good. Next killer. <laughs> okay, if Count Brian, if you are watching this, here is what Michael is very good at. So Michael, you can be very good when he reaches tier three and tier tier two and three. Tier 1, he is undetectable, so you can't hear him. But his movement speed is decreased, so he's slow. And his lunge is decreased, so he doesn't he only has, he has no lunge, basically. So that's the bad thing about it. So he has a stock, so in Evil Within 2, everything is normal. 3, he has extended run, lunge, and he's much faster. So yeah. But when he's in Evil Within 3, you can insta down people so you can put them on hooks special you know, special abilities to stock so you can stock people so yeah but i do add-ons i do recommend it's like the memorial fire or jay, jay myers memorial i think there's other ones that are probably more oh, i'm about to run out of that one but i don't really like all those add-ons i just want to like increase the speed like increase it oh so this increases the lunge of you open one that's really good um i'm about to run <laughs> well yeah this one's really good the yellow one and the green one i don't know if i even have a pur i don't know if there's a purple one but yeah any of those can be good yeah as long as they're not or pretty decent um Add-ons that are really good on him can be monitored because when you reach Evil Within 2, your terror rate is still kind of decreased, so you still be kind of stealthy. Hex definitely needs some gen pressure. Uh, maybe pop sometimes if you wanted to. These two can be any, really. The reason I run two gen defense is because uh, he can kind of struggle without it. But he, he is my first level 50 character. But um, that's about it about Michael. Really, you can kind of with these perks, kind of go anything. Really, you can go with it. You don't have to use pop, but I do recommend hex rune or uh corrupt, corrupt or hex rune. You don't have to go both if you don't want to. It's really up to you. But yeah, hag. Really good. I really do need a player. I've been watching. I I got owned by her yesterday when I was playing Survivor. I don't know when this video is going to be released. So today is Thursday. Yes, there was Wednesday, so. Her, her per she's like Trapper, but better. She plays traps. Has, she has 10 of them. She instantly starts with them, so I'm not saying you have to pick up traps, but no, because they're like hexes. Um, anywhere on map, so is when a survivor triggers them in your 40 meter range, within that 40 meter range, you can teleport to them and get a free hit. If. Yeah, you get a free hit. I do recommend, when I've seen some videos, like play some. Like at the side of traps, or like, or if a pallet, when they drop the pallet, you can place it when they jump over it. Because for Hag, you can keep some pallets, like really bad or really, really good pallets, you can keep them by them. Because when you jump, when you uh, pallet, when you jump over the pallet, and they trigger your trap, you can get a free hit or a down. She's really good. I need a player, but the only downside is just she's slow, like 4.4. That's why her traps help her a lot, because she teleports, basically. So, yeah, she's really good. I don't know what perks I recommend. I, I mean, like, probably any one or two gen defense. No, probably just one gen defense, and I don't know. Anything else. Maybe corrupt can all, or hex, or even pop. It works. Anything works for her. Oh, I can't really see any add-ons, but I know some add-ons that speed up her hex speed, and 
or teleport thing, but I don't know. I'm probably not gonna go in demon. Okay, doctor. Doctor's kind of confusing one to talk about. I mean, not really. Just read it there. So he has his center to serve spark that sh calls shock therapy. That's his first ability. So when you hold the power button, you shock. You only serve range shocked attack on the ground in front of your survivors. Attack by shock therapy gain increased madness. They are performing a immediately interrupt shock therapy. Immediately and they get the oblivious status effect. So yeah. So when you reach madness one, skill check. Skill checks will be kind of over over the screen, not as much so, but I think sometimes it can go backwards, kind of go the same forwards, but it'll be like kind of over the screen, so you have to keep an eye on it. It's not that really that hard. So Madness 2 causes, like the same as Madness 1, causes the survivors to scream. It's the experienced Doc hallucination, so he'll see you, but as an hallucination. And Doctor can see that. He can see a white aura of himself and looking at you, so he can go over there like, hey, survivor, what's up, and hit you. And when he reaches man, when he reaches madness three, they will have a fake red stain on the back. If they're in, if you're in their terror radius, but they can't heal, they can't repair gens, they can't do anything until they snap out of it. So that wastes a little bit of time when they snap out of it. So yeah, and a special ability, bottom one, static blast, causing all survivors within his terror radius to scream, so you can know where they're at. So he's pretty good. But I don't recommend playing first yet. So you got to use to the game and use to some maps. So yeah. So Huntress. Very good. Pretty basic her power. You start with five patches, charge throw for maximum throwing speed, and refill patches that locker. So you run out, go to your locker, and refill it. Um she's really good. You can get really good snipes with her and be really good. I recommend you don't have to always use the hatches, but she's 4.4, so you're gonna have to use a lot of a lot of her hatches. You're gonna help refill a lot. But she she's like you saw man, she probably could be strong, but she's not the strongest killer anymore. She used to be way back, but she's still good strong. I mean, she's still good strong. Her hat her uh, add-ons can be really good. They can give them hemorrhage, so they can't dead hard when they injure them. So yeah. Or give them mangled. Or well, this one too. It gives them her hatches fly more faster, and her hatches wind up faster. That was pretty good. I'll do that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's one that give her extra hatches, like I said. So that's really good. Uh, I don't really know about perks. I mean, like Krupp could work because you know how slow she is, 4.4, and maybe Pop. Yeah, pop and corrupt could work on her very good. Any of these two perks can... Any other perks can go here if you want. That you like or something. Or that's really good for you. So yeah. I need to level up. Because I don't really want to play her now. Uh, okay, I don't know why I didn't use... Uh, Bubba. A.K.A. the Cannibal. A.K.A. Leatherface. He, I think he's kind of now better than Billy. Because... It's kind of like one of the um, cheapest killers out there. So, I mean, not like cheapest, like annoying cheap. I mean, like, ability wise. But it got better now. Old Bubba was terrible. New Bubba, better. So, yeah. So, when he activates his chainsaw, he has three or four stacks. I don't know, base. So, you can go, like, kind of far lengths. Not like spilly lengths, but I mean, you can still kind of get far. That's really good. I should have had that forever. I mean, yeah. So here I'll just read it. it kind of makes sense. So like cannibal. Oh, okay, it's three. The cannibal starts with try. The starts to try with three charges. Press and hold the power button to consume one of the charges and perform a chance of sweep attack. So anybody you can like down two people or three if you can, but you're usually just kind of down one sometimes. One really a lot. So yeah, and you, now you can stop it. Used to you have to wait until his chance. So now you can stop it, I believe. So multiple, so you can attack multiple targets. So rather sit during a chain or put into dying state, so they're instantly down because it's a chainsaw. Use a charge to extend the length of chainsaw sweep during this because a slightly longer cooldown chainsaw charge replenishes when the chainsaw's not used. So, but if you hit something like a tree or anything, you're going a tantrum meter slowly fills when 
Arriving the chainsaw once and the meter is full or after hitting an object during a chainsaw sweep, can the cannibal unleashes a tantrum. The tantrum danger damages any survivor around him, puts him into a dying state. The tantrum duration increased for each charge that had been remained used during the chainsaw sweep. Any remaining charges are lost during a tantrum. Move speed during a tantrum move speed decreased, tantrum meter decreases when the chainsaw is not in use, completely depleting the during a chainsaw sweep. So yeah. It is really good. I don't know what kind of perks I recommend, but you can still go with barbecue chili. That's just one of those good perks that he came with. Anything's really good with him. Maybe some slowdown perks for you. Anything's really good with him. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. Freddy Cougar, aka Nightmare. Um, aka Dream Demon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so he, um, a good killer too, but I don't really like him as much. I still need to have some variety with him. Try to play him. But, um, so when you start the match, you can tell, you can totally know if it's Freddy. Because if you look on your character on the left, you'll see if there's a ticking. So that, that ticks, that, if that fully ticks, that clock ticks, that your, the survivors are asleep. So when the survivors are asleep, Freddy can use his powers. He can use Dream Snares, so whoever steps in it, they'll be slowed down. Dream Pallets, that's an add-on. And if whoever puts down the Dream Pallets, it will explode into blood, and Freddy can get a free hit. Okay, yeah, you can only put five Dream Snares, I believe, yeah. Yes, you can put five Dream Snares, I believe, I don't know. And a special ability... Dream projection, he can teleport to any generator that's not finished. But whoever's in the dream, it will come back faster every time. Whoever's in the dream. So let me read this more. Awaken survivors, hear the nightmare's terror radius, and see him within 16 meters. He immediately sees him from 16 to 32 meters, and cannot see him beyond the nightmare passively. Puts survivors to sleep and into the dream world over a span of 60 seconds. And then he puts them into the dream world by hitting them with a basic attack. I need water. I forgot to get water. In the dream world, survivors are inflicted with the oblivious out of effect and can be affected by dream snares. Survivors can wake up by failing skill checks, having an awake survivor perform wake up actions, or using alarm clocks. Alarm, alarm clocks they find each successive wake up action takes twice as long. Alarm clocks provide survivors with immunity to sleep for 30 seconds. Immunity for sleep. So that's Freddy. You don't really have to use... I recommend t Tinker. Tinker is very good on him. And that's about any other person can slow down, you know, corrupt or anything. I don't really recommend corrupt on him because you can't really use your teleport if that's still up. No, corrupt him good because you only have to teleport to a few gems. But yeah, that's about it. And the pig... The pig. Okay. The, p the pig is a stealth killer. So I'm gonna, before we get to the jigsaw biosystem, or whatever. So when because she's a stealth killer, because she has her special ability is crouch. So when she crouches, she's undetectable. Nobody can hear terror radius. Nobody will know you're coming. And uh, when she's crouched, she has an ambush attack. When you do that, it's like a secondary attack, but she's kind of fast when she does it. Sometimes it won't reach. So our bear traps. Uh, reverse bear traps. Start the trial with four inactive reverse bear traps. Bear traps. While standing over a survivor in a dying state, press the active button to place an inactive reverse bear trap. On the survivor, reverse bear traps become active. You know, you get it. So when a gen is complete, that bear trap will start timer. And when they do activate, the bear trap will kill them, unless they find... So activation reverse bear. When a reverse bear trap becomes activated, they inflict a cooldown time, countdown timer, and all that. But they can find a jigsaw boxes to get them up. So yeah. So I do... Perks I recommend is probably Whispers or Nurse is really good on her. So when you first hear the Whispers, you can go and crouch. Nurses can be good on her too, because she's a self-killer. But I probably recommend her. Uh, Hex, I mean Ruin, or Pop, Pop very good for her. The Clown. Clown would be pretty decent. No, I do need it. 
effects in the room. So Clown has bottles. These bottles, there's two versions. There's one that was slow. That's purple. That's purple one, and the one that's yellow that speeds them up. It takes a little bit to come activate, but yeah. So purple one, you throw them out of survivor. It will slow them down, so you can get a free hit. Depends what, and plus it depends what loop they're at. So yeah. Speedy ones can just get you somewhere faster if you need it, but they're not the best. That's basically it. Um, clown, Willie. This is a slowdown killer. Slow down survivors. Add ons. There's one that will increase the load times of the battle or give them an extra bottle. And like this one. Not this one. There's another finger one that instant on them if you hit them straight on with the bottle. It's really good. So yeah. Perks I recommend my hex run definitely because. A little hit by candy, you probably don't really have it. I don't know. Save the best for last if you can't even want to. Like I said, uh, I, don't, I need to play these killers more so I can get perks and see how these perks do well in them. So, you know? Spirit! Character I need to get good at again! I swear to I'm stretching! Okay. Spirit. Let's read it through. Um, let me stop talking for a second. Oh, I need water. Hang on, I'm just gonna get down because I don't want to talk for so long. So, the spirit's ability, she goes into a phasing. When she phases, she leaves like her spirit body and go in like kind of invisible. And I'm just saying, survivors can kind of hear like a, like a wind sound when she's going, if they're close to her. So, this ability is really good and it takes a lot of practice really a lot of practice because in this form you don't see the survivors so you have to listen for breathing listen for running or kind of have to predict where they're at if they don't if they have a perk survivor perk called iron wheel that when they're injured they will completely stop making noise so you have to kind of predict that they have that so yeah Wait, spirit leaves physical plane losing lost sight of Zolzo where she can however still sense but she can still sense scratch marks when running the virus, that's from it. Her power is really good. She gains a speed boost when she's in it. It's, she's really good. Uh speed add-ons, like when she goes in it faster is really good, and when she's in her phase, it's really good. I recommend Hex Rune, because if you do this and go to the gym, you can grab people off. It's really good. Hex Rune is really good on Pop, probably. I don't know. Any other perks probably go good with her. Is there any other good perks? Maybe Hex on the grounds can go. Her own perk can go good with her, too. Really good killer. Legion, bro. Oh my gosh, that skin, no. That skin is so dope. Um, Legion... To be honest, before I start off, he does need a lot of gen pressure support, so I recommend like probably corrupt with hex or hex with pop. Don't put three. Like I do have this one is kind of a gen protect, but I mean it's not the best. Have thanophobia. I do. Thanophobia is really good on him. Because whoever's injured, their penalty of maximum speed to repair and totem cleansing is reduced. So yeah, we look at. Like I'll replace this with it or slobber butcher because maybe not slobber butcher can be okay. Slow him down even more of healing. But yeah, or his own perks discordance. If one or more, like two or more, or like two or more survivors working on a gen, it will go yellow. Yeah, that's good. Add-ons like increased killer instinct is good. Feral frenzy distance is good. Or want to really decrease the time to require to free feel power gauge is really good. That can be really good. That's good. Perks like hex run probably, or um, corrupt or yeah. So I'm oh, sorry I was pausing there. Uh, Ghost Face is a really a better better than Michael Myers in my opinion. 
Um, so I'm gonna make, try to make this short. So when he goes into Night Shroud, he is undetectable. So like, like I say all the time, yeah. So when he's in Night Shroud, he can stalk. He can stalk a survivor. If he fully stalks a survivor, they're insta down. And like Michael, he has to do it like three times. So when Ghostface stalks, he can insta down. But you don't really have to sometimes unless you really need to, because he can just use his Night Shroud to be a stealthy killer and all that. But he does need. In defense, a little bit, because you know if you're just gonna don't that gonna use his uh, uh, stock a lot. Yeah, if you're gonna use the stealth ability more, yeah, you're gonna need some stealth of stealthy stuff. You know, I mean, uh, chin defense stuff. Nurses can be good on him. Max nurses can be really good on him. Oh, I'm gonna try, try this. <laughs> Even extra stealth. <laughs> Um, Demo Gorgon, I recommend. If you want to get a first DLC character, I do recommend Demo Gorgon. Not, but not really, because he does cost a little bit more. So maybe not. Maybe maybe a uh, other face or something. I don't know. I forget about that. But I mean, but yeah. I'm just saying, guys. Before I, before I uh, talk more about this, licensed characters do cost more. Maybe they don't. No, I think they're all eight dollars. Besides the Stranger Things chapter and Resident Evil chapter. Yeah. Um, David Gorgon's abilities. So I'm gonna talk about special attack. Shred. So when he holds it, you can go for a wings of vicious. Yeah, so you can vicious slash. So you can go from like one area to another. Not really one area to another, but like if the survivor's pretty far off of you, they could dodge his attacks. So yeah, that kind of kind of predict or be good at it. But you can hit him from a far distance with it. And he goes pretty fast with it. It's really good. With it. With it. And his other special ability is portal. So you can place a portal anywhere. Place a portal across the map and other across the map by generators like somewhere around him. So you can... Because when you come from the portal you are undetectable. So yeah. Because you traverse through the upside down and become undetectable when you come back up. So pretty, pretty easy to learn. But the best perk I should recommend is save the best for last. Really good perk. What? I don't think it's super long as I want to. Yeah. Save the best for last. Because these has I think he has kind of a little bit of the slowest recovery speed, so save the best for last will make him super super fast. So yeah. So that's uh, Demogorgon. Really start a good starter uh, DLC in my opinion. But he, co he costs eighteen dollars, I believe, or fifteen, fifteen or eighteen. So uh, I don't know if y'all want to get him. Oni, I uh, do not recommend to get him first because he is a hard killer, like in there, like a spirit. So um, this thing called Blood Fury. Fury when you, you have to, when you strike. A uh, survivor, you gain you gain blood from, and when they're injured, they drop blood orbs. So you activate the power, uh, not the power, um, whatever. Press hold the power button, and only you absorb these blood. And when they're few, he'll, he'll go into blood fury. And when you activate blood fury, you will have special ability demon dash and demon strike. Demon dash makes him go super, uh, super fast around the map. And Demon Strike will make him insta down when you hold it. So you have to have good flicks on him because when you're running and you're chasing his rival V and he kinda like turns to left, you have that have to have that good flick. I mean that's why it's called practice. So yeah. So he does have add-ons that make him get it faster and all that. And some of those add-ons are not the best. Sometimes I don't talk about the add-ons are not the best. Demogorgon's add-ons the best are these two. And he has a really decent uh ultra rare one too. Yeah, I don't Animals are really not the best, but yeah. I recommend Tinkerer on De uh, Oni and probably if you slow down, like Hex 2. That'd be good on him. Yeah. Death Slinger! This is the guy. This is the last person I want to get for the rank 4 with. Uh, he can be. Death Slinger is actually pretty good on Kanto, if you can get, because, you know, he's like the. One character with a gun, but I just really call it a spear gun because you know the gun shoots bullets, and this is a spear gun, so I mean, kind of different. But yeah, you know, his ability different. Uh, like I just talked about. So when you shoot a survivor, 
uh, it's a spear gun, so when you shoot them, you start to reel them in. You can reel them in to get closer to you to get a free hit. Now, there's a trick. To, if, you're if a survivor is already close to you, you can hit them, then try to shoot them, then get a down off them. It's really good. I mean, you can stop them from loops, on easy, some hard loops, that are, like you can shoot over, you can get them and bring them to you. But when it, some, the survivors can break out of your chain with uh, objects or like with um, like walls or something, so when you shoot them and then try to like get behind a tree or something, it's not really that hard. It's really hard. It's not really that hard, but kind of hard to break out of. So when you shoot them behind something, your chain will turn yellow and it will, your uh, bar will start going down faster. Because if you shoot them first and there's like nothing, your bar will go lower and your bar won't go as fast so you can get free hit. If they go behind, a, if they like shoot them, you shoot them from a window and you try to like kind of like try to go around it, your chain will blink, you'll like glow yellow and break off if you like didn't get the hit on them. It'll put you in the in a <laughs> recovery state, a longer one. You could like do it and try to get an early hit off so your recovery state is not as long, but if you don't do that, you don't go in a, a wounded state, deep wound state, so that they heal twice. So that's about that's about it. About this like pretty easy. I do recommend cool barbecue chili. Maybe corrupt would be good on him. Like you don't have to go like three slow down perks or anything. So corrupt can be really good. On slow kills. For the slow kills corrupt is really good. Um Oh pyramid head, pyramid head. Do we only have corrupt on him? Wow, no wonder. We have one slowdown, kind of min miniature slowdown perks on them. So Pyramid Head, really good. Really good. Pyramid Head, A tier. It's like A tier. But, um, Pyramid Head um, uh, has the power of rights of judgment, so a special attack, punishment up to damn. When you activate the button, his, he releases a wave of, of force. Like, damn. But when you do put it down in the ground, you leave. Judgment, rights of judgment. That's like when you hold down the power button, move it in any direction, you curve a trail into the ground. So when anybody steps in it, they get what's it called? Tormented. And when they get tormented, you when you down them, you can put them in a cage of a torment when they're in the dying state. So yeah. And his final ability, and if they're in the final torment, you get to do the final judgment, and you get to kill them. Or like when they're in their last phase, uh, struggle phase on the hook. Like struggle phase or on, or on the hook or in the cage. So, but they have to be tormented. So yeah, and you get to kill them by your own hand, but it's a different kind of version of Mori. So his add-ons, I like his like range add-on, so to make him hit a little further as you can hit him. But his add-ons are not really the best. Good killer, but not best add-ons. I don't really know what kind of perks I recommend, man, we like. Like, I like this kind of build, but not really. Like, I want to change Thrilling and Surge. But I like to have Devour Hope. I don't know. Because I'm not the best with it, so when I do get, like, two tokens, I can be a little... He is... He's normal speed. He is 4.6. But, you know, because I'm not really good at hitting him, so, like, so I try to get the M1s as best as possible, but I will use his power a lot. So, yeah. But I really... Modern abuse is starting to get this a little closer to him. That's a better about Pyramid Head. Oh! The Blight! My main! Blight, really good killer. So his ability. His special ability is Rush. So when you activate Rush, he runs forward. Click your rushes forward during a consumer rush token. While performing Rush, the Blight cannot launch an attack. So when he slams, so if he slams to an environment or obstacle, he can have a lethal rush. So a lethal rush. So when he slams at something, following by a slam, lethal rush does doing a consume, consuming a token, he can attack a survivor. So it's like if you see my video of that new one, um, you have to do kind of a flick, like kind of like swing left or right or straight if they're just wherever they're going. You have to have kind of predict too. But this killer is amazing. I recommend this killer, but. Not like for y'all beginner or whoever started playing. Y'all do get them. Train. You might get bad mass, but it's good to train. Or if you have friends play this game, it's good to train with them. 
So his best add-ons or his speed add-ons, his turn add-ons, he has really good add-ons. So this one, like, every uh, token you consume, you get faster, I believe, right? Or is there another one? Yeah, every consumable, basically consumed token, you get faster. And this one increases his turn rate, so he's... Oh no, turn while rushing, so rushing, so it's easier to turn him. This one, so his recovery after he's done rushing is faster. It's really good. So, uh, per, so add-ons I do recommend. You can do discordance, it's really good. Or ruin, or ruin can be good. Or corrupt, anything really. Anything really good. I mean, or thanaphobia, I don't know about thanaphobia, but maybe thanaphobia. Or, or even lethal pursuer. Because you might like, get the first hit. Really good killer. Really good. So on to the trickster. Oh, you know what? I, I like blight design. To me, is really cool. I love blight's design. Even trickster's design is so cool. Uh, this is a skin, by the way, not his default. His default skin. And the other, the trickster skin is not his default either. Trickster's default skin is like this. This is trickster these default skin. And then default bat. See? Default. I like this one because it makes him look cooler. Um, but Trickster, his design is so cool. I like how there's a green killer in here. It's so cool. But it's, it made him a little bit stronger in that buff, but... let so imagine Huntress, but you have to hit him with more hatchets. But he starts off with a lot of blades. I mean, it only takes like six blades. Used to take like eight, I remember. So just uh, two down, one another down. But it, it feels a lot faster because you throw so many. So yeah, when you throw the blades, you get this um, a little Kershian meter. So like, when that fills up, they get injured. And you dig in, it gets them down. And when you keep hitting the survivor's blade, you get the special ability called main event. And when you activate it, he throws like machine gun fulls of blades. It just throws them fast. It's not the best. I don't recommend this killer unless you get him last, but he is really fun to play. I don't know why. I mean, like, if you saw, he's like fun. Sometimes he's fun and not fun to play at the same time. But if, if you saw that RPD match, I'm so surprised. Like, I, how I did well on RPD with the Trickster. So, I kind of, I recommend you have to go like two slowdowns at least for him. And his No Way Out perk. Like, you have to have his No Way Out perk or something. No way you can not gonna. I mean, there's no way. And the last one could be a new one. You could probably switch off for something for pop, but I mean, I mean, you could do different builds, but I recommend like these two builds for starter, like pop and corrupt. I mean, and no way out. I, you can't, you can't switch anything out for unless you're going some. You really somehow you're like, I don't know. But you, you don't have to go just no way. I'm just recommending really bad no way, because no way out when you hook somebody in game. I, you gain tokens for every token. You it's additional 12 seconds, so like you can have, you can't open the gates for like two minutes or something like that. In this game, two minutes can be long. So, yeah, a trickster. And Nemesis, my favorite today, my favorite antagonist. Oh yes, my favorite pursuer in Resident Evil, the Resident Evil series. Love how they had him again. I know he's not, he's pretty. Um, let me say um. He's like the Demogorgon. He's like balanced. He's really balanced. I mean, he's I mean like not like too balanced. I mean, he's kind of on the weaker balance side, but he's still good because he has pressure with zombies and all that. Because especially in the zombies, he's the first killer to have AI in the map. So yeah. So his special attack is the Tentacle Shrek. So you know when you strike, but when you strike a survivor, they get inf uh, infected. So they have to go vaccine. But if they don't, you can if you hit them again. You injured him, and you hit him again, you down. So that's the only weak thing about him, because you do hit him the first time, you get a really speed boost, or the second time, you get a speed boost. So you don't want to use it all the time. You want to kind of still punch him. But when you, in a mutation rate, when you hit the server like two times or something, you you get into tier two. When you get into tier two, you can break pallets, break doors, uh, wooden doors. And, yeah, wait. Yeah, breakable walls, you can break walls and pallets, breakable walls. And we hear three, his range increases. 
So that's really, and especially when enemy zombies, so zombies can put pressure on them, and they can contaminate, they can, and they can inflict, uh, infect the uh, Zebra Harvest too if they hit them. Can do crazy builds with them too. With the zombies, the zombies are really good. His add-ons are not the best. I, his best add-ons in my opinion are the injector, serotonin injector, Marmarin's blood, Mikhail's eye. Sometimes it can be really good because it increases zombies' movement speed. Or the heart, if you're trying to like, if you combine these, you can hit zombies and get mutation if you want really fast mutation. I think you can hinder it. This one's really good. Uh, this one could be okay. This one's okay. It doesn't the best ones, but some of them can be really good. So yeah. This is one. Yeah, these uh, increases the zombies' de uh, detection range, so they can zombies detect the survivors fast. Uh, I don't know why I have nurses on it, but any, I recommend like a, at least like hex to slow down perk. So when zombies are chasing, getting close to them, they have to get off. So yeah. Oh yeah, I was going nurses because of serotonin injected, but only a less, but I less is 15 seconds. But this, I reckon you could put Tinker on them too. Like Tinker can be good on any survivor. Really, I forgot to say that too. You know, let's, let's put um, you want know, Devour Hope? But, not <laughs> but yeah, Nemesis is good. So that's all the killers right now. Um, I forgot one thing. Not all killers have the same speed or terror radius, so make sure to look at that. So yeah, tell me what killer you're gonna play as or get who you're gonna main, but make sure to always have variety. Play every killer. So yeah. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.